What's up everyone, Tom from the Airsoft headquarters here and welcome back. I'm joined by Carl from the Airsoft Arena. What's we up? have a wonderful video we have planned today. Uh, today, we have decided it's been something we've talked about amongst ourselves and our friends group about the importance of proper eye protection. A lot of places I'm seeing are allowing mesh, shop glasses, gas station specials for eye protection. We're gonna show you why you should only use ANSI Z87 0.81 plus rated stuff to protect your eyes. We are gonna be shooting some jiggly agar gelatin done to the consistency of the human eyeball. Oh, look at it jiggle. That's not the only thing that we're gonna be shooting. We're also gonna be shooting some sheep's eyeballs. Some sheep's eyeballs as well. Now, this is gonna be 100% a uh, viewer advisory because this can get a little bit of gross. We are shooting some um, actual biological matter. So if you do get a little bit of squeamish, then just skip over this, not for the lighthearted. That's what we get. So we're gonna be shooting the gelatin and the eyeballs with AEG MP5, shooting a sub 350 FPS. Tipman HPA, currently chrono at 390 with a 0.20 BB. And then we also have a VSR Custom that's gonna be shooting close to 500 feet per second, and that's gonna be shooting 0.45 gram BBs. Really carry that kinetic energy. So that's what we got. So let's get into it. All right, now we're gonna shoot it with the MP5. Oh, miss. Oh, that was a hit. I don't know where, but there was a big- Oh, it was just on the very edge here but chunked out the entire Ugh. edge there. Ooh, ooh, Where's I can get hand? my whole thumb in there. Oh, that is not good for business. That's even 320 with a 25. That is bare, bare, naked eyeballs. We got Tipman. Shooting uh, 0.28s out of it. Currently the FPS with 0.20s is 391.7. So let's see what this does. I'm gonna take a knee for stability. Go! Oh, that chunked. Part of it hit my face. <laughs> Part of it hit my face. <laughs> Clear. All right, let's check it out. Oh my God. That is a way oh. crazier channel. Wow. That went through. So I hit it here. That blew out. And it just continued on. What were you shooting? Two eights? Yeah. Yeah, and that still had more than enough energy to just punch through all of that. Like that, the entrance on that had much more damage than that. That could just be where it was hit. Sure. But still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a woof. With the 500 FPS bolt action rifle. Oh, that went through. Did it go through? Yeah, that went right through. Let's go up. Go up, inspect, whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Homemade ballistic shell. Hey, get a shot from over here. Oh, does it show the path? It does. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. it does. Wow. Homemade ballistic shell. <laughs> Fucking works, brother. All right, so I think we can use the front surface here still. I mean, it's just got a couple of BB impacts, but it's still good enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use regular prescription glasses that are glass. I think those are just right, like standard 1.5 readers or something. Or something like that. Someone left them behind. So they have been sitting here long enough to where they normally get thrown away, but we're gonna use them for this demonstration. Donated to science. Correct. All for the science of BB. Now, we only have two lenses, so we're gonna utilize one of those lenses for the Titman impact, and we're gonna see exactly what happens when you shoot the glass, and what happens when that BB continues through. So let's go do it. 
There it goes. Well, it definitely broke and cracked the glass. But you know what? It didn't go through, Carl. That's okay. Let's keep hitting it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just keep shooting. So you were still up against that. Uh, you started to push it out. I'm aiming low. It's it, We're so close, it's still rising. There it is. <laughs> That's what we wanted. So. I think it went in. I, I, yeah, I think that's a new, oh, that's glass. Oh, that is glass poking out right there. See that little sharp piece sticking? Oh yeah, that is. Uh, that is glass. Malcolm, let's get a little close up on that. That piece right there sticking out. That's glass right there. So. Oh! Is it a, oh. That's a sizable piece. That's not good. That's bye bye eyeball. That's Ooh, severe damage to eyeball. That is exactly what we don't want to happen. Okay, so that's what the tip means. Granted, still took a couple shots, so let's hit it with a crazy bolt action rifle using the still intact one. Yeah. Going hot. Oh! First shot! Oh! Yeah, we got so much more shatters of the glass up here. Yeah. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah, we got an impact there. I don't feel. There's, oh, there's glass. I, there's much smaller shards of glass. There. Yeah, there's more of them. They're way smaller, but they are in there. And that is exactly what we are here to prove that this shit is terra bad. All right, let's clear this. We're done with this gelatin mold. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, yeah. The very goofballs. You're going to put that in the. There we go. There we go. This is probably just going to put a lot of. Uh, this will probably just go through the mesh, this bolt action rifle. So, here to prove it. Hold on, get back to the, the blue line. Blue I don't line. Have, I don't have a good angle, though. Oh, it'll... <laughs> there's shards in, there's yeah. mesh stuff in it. Yeah, there's mess, mesh pieces. In fact, there's one that I'm going to pull away. You can see a bunch of them right there, there, and there. Yeah, so it's taking chunks of that mesh, little pieces, and they're splattering them onto you the You popped it loose on this side. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's Titman's. All right, Titman's turn. I see where it impacted. It hit here. Oh, look at all that. Why chance that? Because it doesn't fog up. Listen, I get it. Fogging up is a bitch, but is it really worth sacrificing your sight? I think not. No, I, I, I agree. Oh, you chunked it. I went under the nose for that. <laughs> oh, but, but there's a lot more. Yeah, all of that shit would end up in your eyes. That is not fun. Nope. Like, I don't enjoy putting my contacts in in the morning. I do. For me to go through and play several games, a full eight, 10 hour day, and then just getting that in my eye constantly. No thanks, yeah. fam. I'm not taking a bite. <laughs> All right. Uh. It's still not good. <laughs> Blunk. Doing the same thing, but with a full auto MP5. Oh, that's, that's beginning to bend in. 
Yeah. Oh, oh my God. There's actual BB. BB fragments in there. What have I been saying? Sorry. To what have go. we been saying? Yes. We've Sorry, been, we're projecting. We're yeah, projecting. we're projecting. We've been saying this for so many years about when BBs hit mesh, they will shoot BB shards into whatever's behind it. This is the absolute proof of that. Case and point. Exhibit A, B, and C, your honor. This is the official warning. Viewer discretion is absolutely advised. Now is when we are cracking open those legitimate eyeballs. Here it comes. First one. I am sure that there are some people in the comments already roasting us about how the fact that mm, it's gelatin, it's jello, it is not an actual representation of the human eyeball. Guess what? This is the next closest thing that we can get from human eyeballs to the point where optometrists within the actual professional medical field are trained with these exact eyeballs. They made it very hard to get out. <laughs> Probably because they won't, don't want dum dums without us degrees. I'm gonna make sure my knife doesn't get sullied. Ooh, almost popped out there. There we go. And there we go. The sheep's eye. I see you. All right, here we go. Starting with the Titman. Oh, yes. What do we got here? What do we got here? Coming close. Oh, it went. It went. Oh, wait, wait did it hit? Right? In? Because it's, yeah, it it's went in. in the center there. Ugh. Does Talon dissect? I don't want to dissect. I don't want to dissect. I'm trying to figure out where exactly it would have gone into, and I can't exactly find it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's tough. Maybe it didn't actually puncture through due to this eyeball mucus. Oh. Because that's not... That's... Oh, I can smell it. Gross. Yeah, that's gross. Okay. That's good then. Ish. I didn't do what we wanted it to do. Well, we'll get a bigger rifle. Yep. Shoot it with the bolt action. See if that punctures through it. I think I have it. Oh, I did. Oh, you got it. You done got it. Oh, oh my God. You absolutely oh, that, got it. Oh, that There's, popped it. There's material on That the is called there. aqueous Ooh. humor. Uh, in seventh grade, we were dissecting cow's eyes, and I popped the eye, and that shit shot in my mouth. I can hear the gas escaping. Mm hmm. It's in there. It is in there. So, I, yeah, I think, I mean, we're, that's bad for business for eyes. Yeah, that does it. So, what I did is I took a uh, little tennis ball, cut it in half, poured some of the gelatin mold inside of here. That way, I can inverse it, and now we have a semi-circular eyeball Ooh. that can get leaned up like so. Ba-bam! Oh! There we go. Man, the, the wonderful ballistics of Airsoft where it's... Check this out, check this out, check this out. So it actually caught the BB Ooh. in the ball. <laughs> nice. So we got that. And then, yeah, you hit it and it just went through. Oh yeah. Super duper cool. There you go. Take a bite. No. Take a bite. No. I'm gonna go a little bit farther back. Truly get that 100 foot. You hit it. Oh, look at that, didn't even move. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Did you lose it? It dropped. <laughs> you chunked out the top. Oh, I broke it. From dropping it, but, where the fuck? It's in multiple pieces. Yeah, you hit near the top, that's why this was weak. So. You fucked it up pretty good. Oh yeah. Because it went in at the top, like right here. It just channeled it out. Yeah, so that's why it broke that way. Total canoe. Yes. Well, a few things we learned. The importance of the full seal. Uh, mesh will just throw garbage into your eyes. Mm-hmm. 
even if you shoot at a distance, it's still going to carry more than enough kinetic energy to fuck that up. Yeah, even with uh, the Tipman, at that 50 foot mark, it still went leanly through with no issues. Yep, it didn't even, the first couple of feet, or when we were uh, super up close, it didn't even move the gelatin. Yeah, it was going so fast. So fast. So much energies. So, always have proper, safe, full seal eye protection. That is not a mesh. Make sure you spend the extra cash in order to get a good set of eye protection. Otherwise, that could happen to you. And eyes are currently not replaceable. Currently. Currently. Modern science is not that modern. Yet. So, spend the cash, make sure everyone's safe, and then just share that with your friends. I know that other countries have different rule sets, they're gonna have different traditions, but here in North American environment, these are what we require as far as fields and what we wholeheartedly suggest and enforce for you guys as the players. Stay safe. Stay positive. Whoop.